The Performance Accessories 4-in-1 Multifunctional Molding Kit is the ideal solution for finishing your luxury vinyl floating floor because it provides transitions to all types of floors and architectural elements. The kit provides four different molding solutions. A T-molding for transitions between hard surface floors of equal heights, a hard surface reducer for the transition between two hard surface floors of different heights, a carpet transition for the transition between hard surface and carpet, and an end molding for the transition between the hard surface floor and a vertical feature, like a sliding glass door or a fireplace. This kit contains the universal track system that uses integrated shims that allow the molding to work with vinyl flooring from 2mm to 8mm thick. The shims can be separated to create four types of shims. You'll need to follow the instructions on the package for shim usage that correspond to the type of application and the specific flooring height. Before we begin the installation, make sure you have these simple tools. A tape measure, a pencil, a utility knife, a rubber mallet, and construction adhesive. In addition, you'll need a power saw, gloves, and goggles for any type of cutting. T-molding. Luxury vinyl flooring installations require the use of transitions in doorways and in rooms that are very large in length or width. A T-molding is used to transition between two hard surface floors of equal height, usually in a doorway between adjoining rooms. Before you install the transition, you'll need to refer to the installation instructions provided by the flooring manufacturer to determine the required expansion space between the floor and the track. First, remove the carpet or end molding transition support by simply cutting it away with a utility knife. Once this is complete, you will select the appropriate shim based on the height of the floor you just installed. You'll need to follow the guides for shim usage for each specific flooring height. Use the original track for a thickness of 2 or 3 millimeters. Add the shorter shim with the legs facing down for a floor thickness of 4 or 5 millimeters. Add the taller shim with legs facing down for a floor thickness of 6 millimeters. Combine both shims with legs facing down for a flooring thickness of 7 or 8 millimeters. You can separate the shims by cutting or breaking them apart. Next, measure the doorway. Then transfer the measurement to all the pieces to be used in this installation. Cut the pieces to length and make sure to wear safety goggles and gloves when using the power saw. Dry fit the track to ensure it fits properly. Allow enough space between the end of the vinyl plank flooring and the track to allow for expansion of the floors. Install the shim and track in position with glue. Use a polyurethane construction adhesive and place a straight bead of glue down the threshold. Glue the shim to the threshold and repeat the process to glue the track in position on top of the shim and wait for the glue to dry. Next, install the transition strip into the track using a rubber mallet. Start at one end and gently tap the molding down onto the track. The floor looks finished and the scratch-resistant flooring will stand up to household traffic. Hard Surface Reducer A hard surface reducer is used when you are transitioning between hard surface flooring of different heights, such as the transition between luxury vinyl and tile. The installation process for the reducer will be the same as for the T-molding. However, you'll use a combination of the transition cover and the appropriate shims for the height of the floors you've installed. Because the transition cover is flexible, it will adjust on the track to fit both floors. Before you install the transition, you'll need to refer to the installation instructions provided by the flooring manufacturer to determine the required expansion space between the floor and the track. First, remove the carpet or end molding transition support by simply cutting it away with a utility knife. Once this is complete, you will select the appropriate shim based on the height of the floor you just installed. You'll need to follow the diagrams for shim usage for each specific flooring height. Use the original track for a thickness of 3 to 5 millimeters. Add the shorter shim with legs facing down to the original track for a floor thickness of 6 to 7 millimeter floors. Use the taller shim with legs facing down and the original track for 8mm floors. You can separate the shims by cutting or breaking them apart. We determine that with the height of this particular floor, we'll be using the taller shim with legs facing toward the floor. You're now ready to install the transition. Start by measuring the inside of the doorway. 
Transfer that measurement to all the pieces you intend to use during this installation. Cut the pieces to length. Make sure to wear safety goggles and gloves when using a power saw. Dry fit the track to ensure it fits properly. Allow enough space between the end of the hard surface flooring and the track to allow for expansion of the floors. Install the shim and track in position with glue. Use construction adhesive and place a straight bead of glue down the threshold. Glue the shim to the threshold and repeat the process to glue the track in position on top of the shim and wait for the glue to dry. Next, install the transition strip into the track using a rubber mallet. Start at one end and gently tap the molding down onto the track. The transition cover is in place with the expansion space covered. The floor looks finished and the scratch-resistant flooring will stand up to household traffic. Carpet Transition A carpet transition is used to complete the edge of the hard surface flooring where it meets carpet. You'll use it for a variety of spaces in your home, like a transition between a hallway and a bedroom, or an entrance and a living room. For this application, you'll use the base track, the transition cover, and the appropriate shims. The carpet or end molding support remains intact and you will select the appropriate shims based on the height of the floor you just installed. You'll need to glue the appropriate shims together to build up the track to the current transition height. Use a polyurethane construction adhesive to glue all the pieces together. For flooring that is two to three millimeters thick, use the original track with the support. For floors that are four millimeters thick, add the shorter shim with the legs facing down to the bottom of the original track. For floors that are five millimeters thick, add the taller shim with legs facing down to the bottom of the original track. For floors that are six millimeters thick, combine the shims together with legs interlocking and place on the bottom of the original track. Finally, for floors that are seven to eight millimeters thick, combine shims together with legs facing down and add to the bottom of the original track. For this application, we'll be using the taller shim with legs facing toward the floor on the bottom of the original track. Begin this application by measuring the inside of the doorway. Then transfer that measurement to the base track, holding cover and appropriate shims. Cut the pieces to length. Make sure to wear safety goggles and gloves when using a power saw. Dry fit the track to ensure it fits properly. Allow enough space between the end of the hard surface flooring and the track to allow for expansion of the floors. Install the shim and track in position with glue. Use a polyurethane construction adhesive and place a straight bead of glue down the threshold. Glue the shim to the threshold and repeat the process to glue the track in position on top of the shim and wait for the glue to dry. Next, install the transition strip into the track using a rubber mallet. Start at one end and gently tap the molding down onto the track. The transition cover is in place with the expansion gap covered. The floor looks finished and the scratch-resistant flooring will stand up to household traffic. End molding. For architectural features such as a fireplace, sliding glass door, or other vertical edges, you'll use the molding with the carpet or end molding intact. Begin the end molding installation with the appropriate pieces for the application. This application requires the base track, the transition cover, and the appropriate shims based upon the height of the floors for your install. For flooring that is either two or three millimeters, use the original track with the support. For floors that are four millimeters thick, Add the shorter shim with legs facing down to the bottom of the original track. For floors that are five millimeters thick, add the taller shim with legs facing down to the bottom of the original track. For floors that are six millimeters thick, combine the shims together, legs interlocking, and place on the bottom of the original track. Finally, for floors that are seven to eight millimeters thick, combine the shims together with legs facing down and add to the bottom of the original track. For this application, we'll be using the taller shim with legs facing down on the bottom of the original track. The installation process for the end molding is similar to the installation of the carpet transition. Begin by measuring the complete width of the doorway. Then transfer that measurement to the base track, molding cover, and appropriate shims. 
cut the pieces to length. Make sure to wear safety goggles and gloves when using a power saw. Dry fit the track to ensure it fits properly. Allow enough space between the end of the hard surface flooring and the track to allow for expansion of the floors. Install the shim and track in position with glue. Use a polyurethane construction adhesive and place a straight bead of glue down the threshold. Glue the shim to the threshold and repeat the process to glue the track in position on top of the shim and wait for the glue to dry. Next, install the transition strip into the track using a rubber mallet. Start at one end and gently tap the molding down onto the track. The transition cover is in place with the expansion gap covered. The floor looks finished and the scratch resistant flooring will stand up to household traffic. For all your molding needs, look for performance accessories.